Hi, I'm Will from the Electric Art team and today what we're going to do is we're going to recreate Pippa Middleton's hair. Um, Hannah, my model, does have a fringe in her hair but we're going to show you a way that you can hide that and change that a little bit as well. One of the key things with this look is really getting the hair in the best condition it can possibly be. So before we get started, I'm going to take Hannah away. We're going to shampoo using the electric Colour Protect shampoo and conditioner just to help keep this colour really shiny, really radiant and make it last much longer. And we're also going to use the electric hydrate mask as well just to get the hair in the best condition it possibly can be. Okay, so we've shampooed the hair now. I'm going to use Kerastase Volume Active Spray. Um, and I'm just going to work this all through the roots area to start off with, then through the mid lengths and ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my fingers to section. And this will just help you get it into the roots a little bit more. I'm just going to mist that over. Just in a few kind of large sections, and just load up that root area. all through the top. And where we've had the fringe as well, we're going to control this a little bit more. So we're just going to apply a little bit more to there than we perhaps would to the rest of the hair. And then just down through the mid lengths and ends. So again, just holding it all together and just spraying it down, lifting it up with your fingers and spraying it through. So the next step is I'm going to use my Head Hugger by Denman and um, I'm just going to roll that through the hair, just making sure we've got the product all the way through. And this is going to be my essential blow dry tool. This is a tool that's definitely going to help us create that kind of Pippa Middleton look. Once the hair's all smooth, I'm going to use my hair dryer and I'm just going to blast through the hair first to get rid of about 50% of the moisture. One good tip is that if you start blow drying hair from very wet, it can take quite a long time and can be quite difficult. So get rid of about half the moisture in the hair and then we're going to go in with the brush and start styling. So when I'm blasting the hair, what I'm doing is I'm just using my fingers to lift the roots and I'm getting my nozzle right in there to give it a real good lift. And what this will do is it will just help create the volume and give you a little added extra lift before you start blow drying. Okay. So I'm happy that that's about 50% dry now. We've taken out a lot of the moisture in the hair. And what we're going to do is to section the hair ready to blow dry. Because we're not blow drying the fringe forward, I'm just going to keep brushing that back. And it's important that we just kind of keep a little bit of softness and a little bit of sweep to that. That's going to help you make that disappear into the style. Just using my fingers and a section clip, I'm going to take my section clip. And a good tip to get a really clean section is to roll this edge all the way along the scalp. So we're just going to go in, roll it along the scalp and that will help you separate and keep really nice clean sections to make it easier to blow dry. So we're going to work just in two sections on the back here, so two large sections. I'm going to go in with my head hugger brush and we're going to make sure we get lots of lift at the root to start off with and then we're going to use a twisting technique on the ends just to control the ends. So once I've finished blow drying a section and I can see that the curl has started to form in the hair, I'm just going to roll the brush up and let it cool for just a couple of seconds Then I'm going to release. And that's going to give us this nice soft wave to the hair. And we're going to carry on up through the back with exactly the same technique. Okay, so what I've done is I've worked up all through the back section and through some of the other side. 
When you come to the side sections, we're going to do a slightly different technique. We're going to take it away from the face. We want the head to sit backwards and softer rather than falling forwards and covering. So when we're placing our brush in, we're going to go come in from behind and we're going to wrap the hair around it so it's facing backwards. Then we're going to blow dry through. So as you can see, the hair sits backwards and away from the face, giving it a little bit of extra lift and just keeping it from falling forwards. Another great tip when it comes around to the fringe is that we want it to kind of fall soft and soft. So we're going to do the same thing with our brush. We're just going to put a, a parting through. And when we're blow drying, we're going to blow dry it with other pieces of hair as well. This will help it incorporate into the whole look. On the top section here, obviously we want it to come backwards, but we also want to create height on the crown. So when I'm blow drying, I'm bringing it forwards with my brush and giving it a lot of lift, whilst also still working the ends. And the same again on this front section, I'm going to blow dry the remaining hair with the fringe so it all falls back together. The technique I was just using through the fringe hair was called like a rolling technique. So you roll your brush in, it picks up the hair, and you roll the brush out. So I'm going in with the brush, rolling it, and rolling it back out. I'm using the head hugger, which is really great for this, because it curves to the shape of the head. It's really good at picking up all the hair. So I've gone through and I've finished and I've blow dried it now. The important thing now is to make sure that you dress it out correctly to make it look its best. So we've got these nice soft kind of curly wavy movement going through it but it's still a little bit flat at the roots. So I'm just going to go in with my comb and we're going to back comb but we're going to keep it really natural so I'm just taking up a couple of sections on the top I'm just going in and I'm just tweezing very gently and I'm not trying to create volume, I'm just trying to create some softness and some lift. So just work this all the way kind of through the top areas. Obviously it's still looking quite full and still a little bit um, Cheryl Cole. So we're just going to kind of soften it through using your comb. I'm literally could do this from the very ends. I'm just skimming over the very top of it very lightly. So to finish off we're going to use the electric serum. This is just really lightweight so we don't have to worry about it weighing down the hair. So I'm just going to use one pump of that into the centre of my palm and then I'm going to work it and warm it up really well in my hands. And what the heat will do is it'll help it absorb into the hair. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this serum by scrunching it into the hair. I'm not going to flatten all that curl out that we've just spent a lot of time putting in there. So I'm going to use it and I'm going to gather it all together and work it over the ends. Then I'm going to pull it forwards and just give it a little bit of a shape with my hands. Just control the fringe slightly working over any areas that are looking a little bit fluffy. Just keeping it nice and soft and light. One thing about this look is it has to look quite effortless. It's got to look fairly natural. So we're not going for a huge volume. We're not going for a big curl. It just looks like it's fallen naturally wavy. And that's how to create the Pippa Middleton blow dry. <laughs>